Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here and welcome back to another FWTR Tower of Dawn guide. So we're doing floor 113 right now. And let me search for a Sera mercenary. Rosaria, found one. We're gonna choose that. Alright, so I'll tell you guys why I chose a Sera mercenary in a while. So the main reason is because uh, those minions with the which is carrying the cannon, they are not immune to instant death. So you want to start things off with Grace as usual, and then use third skill on this guy right here. Bam, bam, just like that. Persona swap to this barricade right here, and then Lena hopefully use her third skill and hit in the middle of the barricade. So you gotta hit in the cross so that all four barricades will get the damage and if the middle one dies first no problem Yeka use second skill and we should be golden oh no left one more all right so Sogun should actually try to get rid of the barricade here uh, the one which is leading the straight path all right so now we have opened up a path for persona to go forward and use use his second skill and then Lena can stand here and boom all right so Ian used third skill and then weaken the cannon guy and then Yeka use second skill <coughs> so you get decreased defense hopefully we can dodge all the attacks Ian's dodge is pretty high so I'm not too scared of it all right so move Sogun back over there kill this kill this guy finish off this guy so the reason why I'm moving Sogun uh, one tile away is because Lena can benefit from his passive all right swap persona with Ian use Lena's third skill there's no need for us to stand here you know you might as well just move forward because we only need one more lot gauge to get our grace so just move her forward uh, so that Later, when we hit the other barricades on the left area, um, which you'll see in a while after I kill this guy, she don't have to move up there. You know, she can she can benefit from the co-op when Persona attacks the barricade. It's these little little things that help you uh, do help you proceed part by part in this map. So we're gonna take. Alright, so for example right here, if Persona were to attack this barricade here, Lena can go up. If my Lena did not move forward just now, um, she won't be able to go up and the damage you deal to this barricade will be slightly less. So yeah, I was mentioning it was these kind of little things you need to pay attention to because every single uh, movement of the heroes that I'm doing right here is actually it means something you know I'm not I'm not just randomly moving them around for fun all right so going to get counter that gets a counter there no problem so destroy the barricade persona try to aim for the front barricade the one which is a little bit more up front all right get rid of that so we have Ian you want to place a uh, baby Yaka be behind Ian because her co-op needs her to hit in a straight line just like where I position her right now so try to charge Lord Gage for now oh Ian almost died right there but luckily he's tanky enough alright move Sogun forward use second skill alright so this is the part where you need to pay attention to swap and then place Lena right here aim for the guy behind so you get that Lord Gage and then have grace up so most likely we're going to spend our awakening skill right here so that Ian can apply weakening boom 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 the bomb comes down all right so second skill for Yeka baby Yeka as usual oh my god Ian almost died right there luckily we have grace and luckily Ian's dodge is incredible shouldn't have any difficulty Alright, so try to kill off these two guys uh, or else they'll keep shooting at your Sogun. 
you can use third skill, second skill uh, if you're strong enough. Alright, so I'm gonna use third skill right here. And then Lena tries to use third skill. Second skill should do it, I think. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, and the last guy, Lena is within co-op, so Lena's co-op should kill him. Oh yeah, he did get seal. So no problem for that. Try to build lock gauge for Sogun. Uh, using Sogun right there. Alright, let's try to get rid of the barricades right here. Um, positioning is very important. Remember, baby Yeka needs to be in a straight line for her to co-op boom second skill so I get to hit three barricades at once for Ian first skill should suffice actually you can just spam Ye baby Yeka's uh, second skill she don't have any mana issues uh, from what I noticed so which makes her extremely good in this map and she's cute whatever so yeah so try to get rid of the barricades one at a time um, constantly spend Ian's second skill Ian's second skill is quite conservative and then here we want to use our awakening skill push this guy to the other side boom 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 alright get rid of him once and for all for now Build lock gauge, it's full, so whatever. Alright, there's one more barricade on the way. Hmm, what should I do? Maybe I'll swap this, and then we can hit all the three barricades. I hope I did the, the right choice. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god. There's quite a lot of HP left. Alright, if all three of the characters, all four of them actually hit the barricade with co-op damage, I believe we can do it without any difficulty. Boom. Second skill as usual. Alright, we have four turns left. Gotta pay attention to every move matters right now. Uh, we have Grace up, so it's time for us to do a sneak attack. Swap. Alright, Grace up first, and then we will swap this guy, dispel. So you need Persona to dispel those guys uh, buffs or else they will deal insane damage. They will practically one hit all your heroes. Let's get rid of this barricade right here. Awesome. Third skill, weaken the guy. And then we can use Yeka's second skill. Get the weakened defense off. Just build a lot, lot gauge with Sugun for now. Alright, what should Persona do right here? We have a couple of choices. Number one. I was thinking of swapping that guy. Never mind. Let's just use this for now. Move Lena here. So my Lena has plus one movement in case you guys are wondering. K 
can we do this? Yeah, we should be able to. Practically out of mana right now. Alright, we have two guys left, so we are saving our Sarah for the last guy at the corner right there. Uh, so that she can use her awakening skill for instant death. But for now, let's get rid of this guy right here. Boom. Destroys. Destroy all the barricade. Oh no, I'm not within my third skill range. This is bad. But let's grace up first. I made a mistake there, I think. Regardless, let's try to build the Lord Gage. Spam third skill. Move Yeka closer. So we get the decreased defense. Let's try to destroy this barricade. Awesome, awesome. Move Persona here. Alright, those debuffs, man, they really help a lot. Third skill. Oh my god, we actually did it. He's dead. Alright, we need to destroy these barricades right here, uh, preferably all three of them. So let's just spam our skills. Can Sogun reach? Yes, perfect. Perfect. There we have it. Alright. Pretty much done right here. Just left Sarah. And her awakening skill. Instant death! And there you have it. Floor 113 cleared. Alright, I'm gonna be honest guys. This floor is not easy. It's not easy. Maybe because I don't have any good... Uh, potentials on my accessory you sort of need percent damage to minions which I do not have most of them have percent damage to boss but let's have a look at the equipments of my characters uh, this is what I have on Sagoon pretty decent equipments and oh my god I don't even have <laughs> I don't even have a deep sea rune on him no wonder he's kind of slightly weak but at least I have uh, persona. This is what I have on Lena and Ian. Let's see. Pretty decent runes, I should say. And lastly, Baby Yeka. Mostly buff sets on her and the runes on her. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I think this floor took me at least 20, 20 tries. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything you need to ask. And if you need any assistance of setting up a specific mercenary and you are on Pioneer server, uh, hit me up on channel 1 and I'll try to help you out on this floor. Alright guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.